John Sandburgers is a headline name in in your your team. A lot of flashbulbs going off whenever he's got the ball in training. How excited about you about seeing him play? Uh, I'm very excited, but I think that more importantly, is the team's excited, and I think you know there's. Uh, there's a wave of expectation, uh, expectation around the nation that they're excited as well. So um, what we've got to do as a team is make sure that Sam has the opportunity to come to the party and bring what he does best, simply as that. Have you been impressed with him so far? He's played, what, a handful of games, isn't he, now in Union? Yeah, and, and he's been, um, been interchanging between back row and centre, and he seemed to manage that quite well. Uh, for us, he's going to be in the centre, and hopefully he'll have a big role to play. Henry Slade has been playing a number of positions for Exeter Chiefs this year. With obviously playing very well, played a huge amount of minutes in the Premiership and in Europe. He's playing ten for you. What do you want to see from him there? Oh, I think uh, you know he's a great footballer, Henry. We've known each other for a long while, and, and he's been in the pathway for, for four or five years now. I want him to show his maturity, his level of understanding of the game, and also playing ten how he controls and manages people around him. And you know there are some fantastic experience around him. I want to see him be the controller and conducting uh, conducting the game to, to what we need. You mentioned the pathway there. Another player that's been on that, that pathway is Maharo Otoji, a very exciting second row. Tell me a bit about him as a player. Uh, he's phenomenal. Uh, for a big athlete, and he is a big athlete, his workload and his engine is fantastic. Um, he gets around the park, he makes his hits, he carries, but he's such a mature character with ball and without ball, understands the game, got a great future. What can you say about the blend you've got between young, exciting talent and also experienced players? Well, it's a good mix, um, and, and Stuart, who has addressed the team, rightly says this has probably been the strongest Saxons team since his involvement when he was Saxons coach. This is probably the strongest team that, that, that there's been, so it's all right, a blend of, of experience and youth, but we've got to come together as a team, and we've had a good session today, a good walk and talk session that will hopefully gel uh, and get better understanding, and the game of rugby is just about playing what you see in front of you. Stuart Lancaster has been in the camp this week, as you said. What was his message to the players? Uh, that the eyes are on them. He wants to see the team perform. He wants to see individuals perform. There's no shackles on them. Um, you know, there's nothing holding them back. Uh, he wants the guys to put their hands up and say, I want an opportunity in the senior squad. That's what he wants to see. And there's no better place than going to Ireland and, and competing against the Irish in their own backyard to see whether you're capable or not of going up to the senior level. What are you expecting from the Wolfhounds? They've named a, a strong group as well. Yeah, I think it's going it, to, historically it's been a very close game, you know, it's been one score either way over the last three, three years, so it's, certainly since I've been involved. So I'm expecting them to come out with lots of fervour, lots of passion as they normally do. Uh, they're very committed around the breakdown, so I think we need to take care of the, uh, the possession of the pill very well there. But more importantly, with their passion and their commitment, we need to control our game and show that, you know, what footballers that we've got come to the party and perform well.